Hey everybody, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with another yarn craft tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make pom-poms without using a pom-pom maker. Let's get started. So right here in front of me, I have a couple of rings cut out of box board or cardboard. I used box board because it's a little bit easier on the old hands. And what I've done is cut two almost identical donut shapes and then cut a little notch in each of them to aid in the step I'm about to show you. So for demonstration's sake, I came with these ready to go, but they're easy to make. You just trace a circle, cut it out, trace another circle, cut it out, notch it, and you're good to go. But it's important to note that you need two of these to make a pom-pom using cardboard. What you're gonna do is put both pieces of your cardboard donuts together and then grab the yarn you wanna make your pom-pom with. And what we do to make this pom-pom is hold that cardboard all lined up and then wrap yarn all the way around it, getting pretty thick and dense with our wrapping as we go. So the knot comes into play here because it gives us a place to easily wrap the yarn into the center of the donut. And we're gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until this is covered really thick. One thing that I think that I think is interesting about a lot of pom-pom demos is because for the sake of time, a lot of people don't wrap the pom-pom super thick, but one of the biggest tips I have for success in making a really good pom-pom is to go nuts with your wrapping, to use as much yarn as you can physically possibly fit on your pom-pom maker, whether that's cardboard or a store-bought pom-pom maker. And this makes your pom-pom nice and dense, and the denser the pom-pom, the better it looks. So I'm gonna keep wrapping this and I'll be back in just a second when I'm ready. Once your cardboard pom-pom maker is wrapped just about to bursting, you can cut your yarn off and set your yarn ball aside. Then what you're gonna do is grab some sturdier yarn. In this case, I'm working with um, a linen yarn. And the reason I'm doing this is that it's a little bit stronger than the roving inspired yarn that's on my pom-pom maker. And this sturdier yarn is one of the keys to a good pom-pom. So wrapping the yarn around the maker really thickly and then using a sturdier yarn to tie off your center are the two biggest tips I would give to any pom-pom maker. So what we're gonna do with this thicker yarn is I've got it threaded on a tapestry needle right here and I'm going to sew through the two layers of cardboard. So I'm putting my needle right between those layers of cardboard and I'm going to be sewing all the way around the inside. But one way to do this if you're having trouble getting all the way through your um, center of your cardboard pom-pom maker is you can poke it out the other side, which I'm doing right in here and give yourself another angle to come back in with your sturdy yarn for the center of your pom-pom. So I've come through and now I'm just gonna go back through, making sure by feeling around with my tapestry needle that I'm in fact between those two layers of cardboard. And now we're gonna sew through this other half of our pom-pom or our soon-to-be pom-pom and draw the tail through. There we go. So I've set aside my tapestry needle and now I have the center all tied up of my pom-pom. You can see I've opened the edge of my cardboard maker there so you can see the tail coming out. Sound good? Next what we're going to do is tie off the center of this guy. So we're gonna make sure that we're feeling really secure about where that center tie is in our pom-pom and we're gonna tie what's called a square knot. So it's like the knot that you tie when you start to tie your shoelaces, but you tie that twice. So we've wrapped our yarn over and we're gonna pull it really, really tight. So this, like dental floss levels of tight, leaving marks in your fingers levels of tight. So we're gonna tie that once and then tie a second one of those to secure the center of that pom-pom. And um, using this extra sturdy yarn becomes in really handy right here because sometimes if you use a thinner yarn like this, it can pull apart when you're trying to secure your pom-pom and ruin everything. So in addition to getting a nice tight knot, the sturdy string is helpful to not fall apart when you're making your pom-pom. 
Once we've got that knot all set, we're gonna grab our scissors and cut right in between both layers of cardboard to make our pom-pom open up and bloom into a pom-pom. So we can keep going between those two pieces of cardboard, like so. And I'm gonna also cut from this side. All right, there we go. Now we've unleashed the beast that is our soon-to-be pom-pom, and we're gonna slip out those pieces of cardboard, because we don't need those anymore, and we've got our pom-pom right here. So you'll notice right now it's a little bit oval shaped for a pom-pom, and we're gonna need to give it a little bit of a haircut to get that nice pom-pom shape that we'd like to see. So we'll snip, this tends to make a big mess, so I recommend working over a work surface like I am here or just an open trash can to save yourself some messy cleanup. I'm gonna keep trimming and we'll massage it a little to open up those fibers and we'll trim until we're happy with the sphere shape of our pom-pom. And for the sake of demonstration, I'll just call it right there and combing it out with our fingers, we've got ourselves a nice pom-pom made out of cardboard. If you have any favorite tips or tricks for how to make pom-poms using cardboard, let us know in the comments and that's also a great place to reach out if you have any questions. Don't forget to tune in again soon for even more yarn tutorials. Mm -hmm.